Hi guys, my name is Eagle Eye. Earlier I uploaded a video showcasing a Warcraft 3 mod for Dota 2, um, and it was fairly well received, and I thank you guys for watching. I had a, a question on the video showing how did I install the mods, and I was also notified by the original poster on Reddit that he had found a few more mods uh, and compiled them into the list. And um, so I decided that I wanted to show those new mods and also show how to install um, these mods if you want to do it yourself and you're not able to um, not able to figure out how. So instead of showcasing how to install each of the individual mods, what I've done is I've gone through and I've compiled them all into one link that I'll include in the description that you can download for yourself. And once you download it, you will get this Warcraft mod pack. Uh, you'll obviously need WinRAR for this. So what you want to do is you're going to extract your files. So inside this link, you will see that you have two different links. You have Night Elf and Undead. If you do Night Elf, obviously you get the Night Elf HUD. If you do Undead, you get the Undead HUD. Pretty easy. So then once you go into this, you'll notice that you have a Dota folder. And when you go into Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dota 2 Beta, you'll notice that you have a Dota folder. Um, pretty much all you do is drag and drop. So what I'm going to do um, for myself is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to remove the heroes list because I don't want the custom hero icons in my. If you don't want the uh, the items, then you just you can delete them from right here. Just delete items. If you don't want the spell icons, you delete the spell icons. If you don't want the cursor, you can delete the cursor. Um, it's it's pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the heroes. And then I'm going to go back to the Dota folder and just drag and drop it into my Dota 2 beta folder. It's going to ask if you want to merge the folders. You want to say yes. Do you want to merge these folders? You want to click do all, do this for all current items. And then it's going to ask if you want to override all of these. And you're going to say yes, move and replace. It's going to move all of these into that folder. Then we're going to go and make sure that we right click on Dota 2 and go to properties. We're going to just go to set launch options and we're going to make sure that uh, forward slash override underscore VPK is in our launch options for Dota 2. Uh, these two options are for me. You don't have to have these to get this to work. So we're going to close out of that and we're going to launch Dota 2. And I do apologize, it is going to, you guys are going to see the loading screen and all of that, just so that I can show that everything is working as intended. Okay. We're going to create a lobby. We're going to enable cheats, make it US East in case it does something stupid. And we're going to start. Now, unfortunately, unlike my last video, this video is probably not going to look as good uh, because of the weird way that I'm having to record this, so I do apologize for that. You're back. You must really enjoy crashing the feed. Lord of Avernus. All pick. Okay. I might like that. So if we change our HUD to the default, we see that it is a, the uh, Night Elf HUD. We have our cursor. We have our skill icons, we have our item icons, and if we give ourselves some gold, Mask Madness BKB, we also have the custom TP effect, or sound. Whoops. I see the way. There we go. Like shapes in mist. And the other thing that we have to wait for, for to we're going to have to wait another 20 seconds, but we also have the uh, old horn from Warcraft 3. So I do want to thank everybody for watching that video. Um, it was very well received, and I do appreciate it.
two, one. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I guess I can also show the ping sounds. Anyways, um, I want to thank everybody for watching this video and thank you for watching the last video. Hopefully this showed you how to install these mods. Hopefully it was easy for you. If you have any problems, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I will help you to the best of my abilities. Um, and once again, thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.